In 1507, a German cartographer named Martin Wald Seemuller published a groundbreaking map that introduced the word America to the world. This map, titled Universalis Cosmographia Secundum Ptolemae Traditionum et Amerisi Vespuciae Aeliorum Clustrations, was the first known map to feature parts of the New World labeled America. Wald Seemuller's goal was to create a unified depiction of the world, combining the traditional geography of Europe, Asia, and Africa with the new information brought by Amerigo Vespucci and other explorers of the Western Hemisphere. You see, Vespucci and his fellow adventurers had discovered a whole new continent, separate from the known lands of Europe, Asia, and Africa. And it was Wald Seemuller who christened this new land, America, in honor of Vespucci's groundbreaking discoveries. But what made this map truly revolutionary was its depiction of a separate Western Hemisphere, with the Pacific Ocean as its own entity. This shattered the European understanding of a world divided into only three parts. The map consisted of twelve sections, each printed from woodcuts, and when assembled, it measured a whopping 18 by 24.5 inches. Talk about attention to detail. As you follow the map's intricate lines and curves, you'll notice that North America is called Perias, while the newly named America refers to the South American coast. The map even extends to regions labeled India Meridianalis and includes scattered, unlabeled islands beyond. What's truly mind-blowing is that Wald Seemuller's map seemingly predicted the existence of the Pacific Ocean and the width of South America with remarkable accuracy. Talk about a cartographic genius. Historians speculate that Wald Seemuller included the ocean on his map because Vespucci's accounts of the Americas, with their savage peoples, couldn't be reconciled with the knowledge of India, China, and the islands of the Indies at the time. So, Wald Seemuller made the bold leap of intuition that the newly discovered lands must be separate from Asia, and boy, was he right. His map proved to be uncannily precise. This map, my friends, was a game changer. It forever altered the way Europeans viewed the world, expanding their understanding beyond the confines of Europe, Asia, and Africa.